Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're addressing the parts of the old law which remain valid and grave today, the Ten Commandments. So far, we've talked about the first seven commandments, and now it's time for the eighth. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. We've talked about deceptions, dishonesty in word and deed, being straight with people, hypocrisy, betrayal, gossiping, and refusing to keep secrets. But what other kinds of false witness are there? 1. Making rash judgments. Often people can be guilty of bearing false witness because they rush to judgment before they have all the evidence. The dangers of this are similar to the dangers of gossip. If you make a judgment too quickly, you may cause harm to people based on incorrect information. Then, if you spread that judgment around, others may pick up on it, and they may cause harm to people based on incorrect information, too. 2. Detraction. This one is a bit tougher to understand. In detraction, the information you're spreading is often true. Detraction is spreading information about another person's faults and failings to a person who didn't know them without a valid, objective reason. The important thing to understand here is that by valid, objective reason, what this means is a reason that's based on something other than just how you or someone else feels. For example, if you're feeling upset because your brother was rude to you this morning, complaining to people about his failings just for that reason would be detraction. However, if you know that some charity is doing evil with their money, and you spread the news about that to help people make an informed decision about whether or not to give to that charity, that's not detraction, because your reason is valid and objective. As for why this violates the command not to bear false witness if the facts themselves aren't false, the reason is that while the facts may not be false or dishonest in authentic detraction, your reasons for spreading the information are. Therefore, detraction violates this commandment. 3. Calumny. This is much easier to understand than detraction. In calumny, you're deliberately trying to harm someone's honor or reputation by spreading information which is either false or is aimed at leading people to make false conclusions. In other words, deception with the intent of hurting someone. 4. Flattery, or praise of another person, can be contrary to this commandment in one particular way. Namely, if the praise is meant to encourage them in evil doing or harmful behavior. Even friendship isn't a good enough excuse to encourage them in evil. 5. Boasting can be a violation of the truth, especially when you purposefully encourage a false understanding of what you're capable of. Remember, people will make decisions based on that false understanding, and every time somebody does that, there's a good chance it'll come back to bite them. There are a few other kinds of false witness, but they can all be identified by the same means as these. A dishonest motive, dishonest words, and causing harm to one's fellow man through the intentional spreading of false information. Next time, what does the Eighth Commandment say about propaganda? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.